Hey, my name's Christian Hosoy, and I love skateboarding. But more than that, I love the Lord. I love the Lord Jesus Christ. And God has given me these talents and gifts right here, skateboarding, to now be able to use it as a vehicle and a platform to preach the gospel to this generation. And you're this generation. The Bible says you're a, you're a, a, a holy people, a royal nation. You're God's special people. And you are to proclaim the praises of Him who called you out of darkness and into His marvelous light. That is 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9. And for me, this is, this is your generation. This is my generation. It's been since the cross that we were to stand up, rise up, and become bold about our faith. And so now, when I got saved, it was like, I was like, where were all the Christians telling me about Jesus in skateboarding? Nobody told me. And so when I got saved in a prison cell in January 2000, I looked up to God and I said, God, send me. I'll go. I'll tell them. I'll speak to them about your love, your grace, your forgiveness, your mercy. And I will go. And God said, I will send you. And from that moment on, all I wanted to do was read God's Word, study God's Word. When I got out of prison, I started plugging into a good, healthy church called The Sanctuary. And that's where I discovered that, you know what? God has a plan for my life to be a part of ministry. And we are all to be ministers. We're all to share the Gospel with people when we have a radical encounter with Jesus. And that's what I had. And so my, my whole being was like, well, how do I do that? Well, Pastor Jay Hazlip at the Sanctuary Church noticed that I was so in love with Jesus that I dedicated my life to serving Him. And I got ordained a pastor in 2005, and I've been serving Jesus ever since. But it's not because of any other reason other than Jesus loved me and why I made that decision. And it's going to be that decision in you which is going to cause you to love Him back. I'm telling you right now, you're not going to be able to religiously love God. You're going to only be able to have a radical relationship with Him. And it starts by giving your life to Jesus. See, for me, it was in a prison cell. I asked God into my heart. He came into my heart. He cleansed me of all my sins. And it was like all the guilt, all the shame, all the hurt, and all the pain just washed off my shoulders. And I knew that I knew that I knew that I was going to heaven. And you can have that same experience too. It's as simple as a prayer. And that's where my journey began, was in that prison cell. But I spent five years in prison. But I tell everybody, you know what, it was the first time in my life that I was free, that I was finally a free man, that I knew that I was going to heaven one day and God had a plan for my life. And all I did was study God's Word. And I knew one day I'd be sharing my testimony right now to you guys. But it started with a prayer. And if you say this prayer, I guarantee you something supernatural is going to happen. And you're going to fall in love with Jesus just as I did. Because I believe that God is able to do the most amazing things in your lives. Because He's done it in mine. So if you want to say this prayer with me, I want to pray with you. Just repeat it after me. Say this. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe that you died for me. And God raised you from the grave. And you're alive today. Come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins. Help me to forgive others. Help me to forgive myself. Today I'm yours. Today I'm saved. Today I'm going to heaven. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. If you said that prayer, I guarantee you something supernatural happened. The Bible says that when you give your life to Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes into your life and you become born again. That means we're brothers and sisters now in the kingdom. That our citizenship is in heaven. We're going to spend eternity together. And it's you that have been adopted into God's kingdom, just as I have. Now we get to serve God on this planet we call Earth. 
using something that we love so much called a skateboard. And it doesn't matter if you skateboard or not, wherever you live, wherever you come from, you have the ability to share your testimony with somebody. And if you said that prayer, share it with everybody what you've done today, especially a pastor in your town. I love you guys. God bless you. I can't wait to come to Colombia. Gracias, and uh, I will see you soon. If not, we're spending eternity together. God bless you.